Okay, Steve, in Australia, the 6900 XT is sometimes cheaper than the RTX 3080 and RTX 3080 Ti. Is it a value buy? <laughs> uh, this comes back to the 6800 XT versus 3080 Ti video I did recently. Yep. Pricing has changed substantially since I made that video. Not so much in Australia, more I would say for US shoppers, uh, pricing yep. at Newegg changes, but it really does change. Seems almost hourly over there. Uh, in Australia, I think we're looking at, I've got a few notes here, $2,300 for a 6900 XT at the moment for an in-stock card, mind you, not a cheap listed card. Yep. And that's about what you pay for a 3080. A 3080 Ti is like $200 more. So that's like an eight, it's what is it, 8% I think more expensive or something like that for the 3080 Ti. Um, so less than 10% either way. I don't know, is it, what's the benefits of the 600 XT? You get more VRAM, uh, rasterization performance is about the same, uh, probably better at lower resolutions, but at 4K, they're about the same, but you miss out on the more mature ray tracing support, the um, NVENC, uh, DLSS 2.0. So I don't know, is it worth saving around, let's say, let's just say 10%, is it worth saving 10% on a Radeon GPU that has similar rasterization performance and more VRAM, but you you lose like the more mature ray tracing. And the thing with ray tracing, we could have a Tim and I could have an hour long discussion about this and a totally different thing because I feel like a lot of people don't quite get, even though we've explained it at length over years, uh, our stance on ray tracing. And I think when we're discussing these ultra expensive high end graphics cards that can actually deliver an acceptable level of performance with ray tracing enabled at like 1440p with the other quality settings turned up so it's not a compromised ray yeah. traced experience i think then ray tracing does become relevant also there's a whole much more depth to this conversation we of course have many more ray tracing titles now that do look quite impressive or at least decent with ray tracing enabled like cyberpunk 2077 you can you can quite easily tell the difference on reflection and stuff with ray tracing enabled and you are going to get a much better experience with a 3080 Ti opposed to a 6900 XT. So if that's something you care about, is, is saving 10% worth going from, you know, an acceptable level of ray tracing with some improved effects to just terrible ray tracing performance that you can't really harness? It's yeah, I sort think of first generation. Just my, my personal opinion, I think the, the margin isn't significant enough to go with the AMD GPU. Mm -hmm. I think if I... It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of that classic high-end buyer's decision where if you're if you're buying the high-end market you tend to have a fair bit of disposable income like if you're spending over two thousand dollars australian on a gpu you've probably got a bit of disposable Lots cash lying around so yeah spending 10 percent more 200 dollars more is like eh i'd rather just get the best of the best product and in mm -hmm. my opinion the 3080 ti is the better product overall than the 6900 xt yep. because of the things we've just been talking about so if it was if the 6900 xt was more like two thousand dollars so a five hundred dollar difference, then yeah, you start. That, that's a big question mark there. That's certainly getting me thinking. Maybe I'll go with the AMD card. But as we've been sort of talking throughout a lot of this generation, when the margins are small and we're talking high end cards where people want to buy the best, being just slightly cheaper, I don't think is cutting it with these sort of products. And for me, I'd be going the yeah. Nvidia GPU. The, the the cons and pros column, the, the the pros of the six hundred XT are very slim. So yeah, look, it's got. It's got, what, six gigabytes more of VRAM over the 3080. And honestly, I'm not concerned about the 3080's uh, VRAM buffer. And then 3080 Ti, it's like four gigabytes more, which is pretty insignificant yeah. once you're getting up around 12 gigabytes. For the life of the card, I can't see that four gigabytes playing a, really a role there. So, yeah, I think for the 600 XT to be the go-to option there, it's got to be... At least I would I would consider it at two thousand dollars. A five hundred dollar saving is reasonable. Again, it's not that much money when we're talking about two thousand dollars plus, but it, it's enough to consider it because you are yeah. getting very similar or the same rasterization performance at, at like a resolution like four K.